here this afternoon with Larry Jacobs, Director of World Congress of Families in the United States. Hi Larry, how are you today? I'm doing great, thank you. Um, how's everything going with the Congress? How are things running? Super. We, we, I, you can see from the pictures, Sydney is just a beautiful location. But also, there are just so many wonderful families here. And our theme of happy families, healthy economy is just a perfect place to bring together all the, all the families and children of the world to celebrate the family. The Congress is unique in that it brings together both professionals and scholars, and, as well as just everyday people who recognize that the importance of parenting, marriage, and children are the because children are the future of our society. We have to take make sure that we can do the best for our children. So, in bringing all these people together, we remind not only uh, not only governments but also all the businessmen and people of the world that it, the children are the future. If we can't take care of our children, if we can't help children, what, 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 what kind of society will we be? Finally here at the World Congress of Families. This event takes place every year. My name is Andrea Andrea and I'm very happy to be here this afternoon in Australia at the Australian Technology Park where I'm going to be performing the hymn song for the World Congress of Families. Finally we made it here and I hope you really enjoy this event. Larry is the, uh, the, the Congress Chair, if you like, in, in America. So he's the Managing Director of the World Congress of Families and he will have now a few words. Thank you Mary Louise. Uh, what a great uh, venue I think to demonstrate uh, the, the theme of this Congress that uh, uh, happy families and a healthy economy and it certainly is Mary Louise uh, expressed, um, I just welcome you to Sydney. I thank you on behalf of the World Congress of Families and the more than 80 countries that uh, we represent. Um, groups uh, from all over the world and, and individuals and families that have put so much effort uh, just to uh, allow us to be here, but also the, as many of them, of course, being so far away, at times they do work in their own country, but can't always make it here. So I express, I'd like to express appreciation for them as well. And you know the thing that unites us is our our support for the natural family, and I think it's um, it's always exciting to see so many people gather from different different parts of the world, different uh, faith groups, different uh, just walks of life. But what what brings us together is our support and our affirmation of the natural family. So this is a real celebration, uh, not just here at this reception, but I think throughout the whole Congress. Family. What a beautiful word, family. Thank you very much, Australia and all the countries around the world for uh, inviting me to this wonderful event. I got involved with the World Congress of Families about two years ago, and our organization, Angels of Charity Music, it's an organization that helps orphans and underprivileged children in California, Mexico, and Peru. And we really love uh, the work that World Congress of Families is doing around the world. Congratulations and a big round of applause for all of you here this afternoon. And of course, a big round of applause for God.
Opera House. Esta ópera, esta casa de ópera que fue construida hace muchos años, se inauguró en el año 73, 1973, pero la construcción empezó en el año 1959 y tomó muchísimos años construir esta obra magnífica. No solamente eso, sino que muchos arquitectos de diferentes partes del mundo concursaron con su diseño para ver quién clasificaba. Y el que clasificó fue este gran diseño que vemos el día de hoy y que lanzamos aquí en esta maravilla, en este edificio tan maravilloso. Así que pasemos a ver este maravilloso edificio y aprendamos un poco de eso. In 1955, the Australian government announced an international competition for the design of an opera house. Danish architect Utzon's entry was selected as the winning design. Out of 233 entries from 32 countries, Utzon wins first prize. His design was for a complex with two theaters side by side on a large podium. The construction of the Opera House was at times difficult and controversial, with Utzon resigning from the project in 1966. The Opera House was officially opened by Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II on October 20, 1973. Kangaroos can travel at speeds up to 30 miles per hour and can leap some 30 feet. Their diet consists mainly of grasses. They can survive long periods without water. Kangaroos stand between 5 and 6 feet tall. Most weight between 50 and 120 pounds. We are the world. like different types of trees, about 30, 4 different types of trees that you can only find here in this area of Australia. The Daintree River runs through the Daintree Forest in the Cape Tribulation region of Queensland, Australia. The Daintree River is home to over 70 adult saltwater crocodiles. Whether you want to fish, bird watch, or croc spot, the majestic Daintree River is a must. Just we try to make it through. In how many songs have you written so far? Um, I think about 15. 
15, probably. 15, okay. Yeah. And I can see you have an album here. Yeah, I do. Maybe some of the kids that are watching the show today, los que están viendo el programa de televisión ahora, pueden entrar a su página web. They can go and check out the website. Yeah. What's your website? Oh, it's tajralph.com. Tajralph.com. Well, anyways, you're going to have it right there on the screen and you can see and, and go into this website and, you know, chat with you, right? Are you on yeah. Facebook too? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. On Facebook. So all of the kids that are watching the show, you can Facebook Taj and be friends with him all the way from California to Sydney. Well, I also want to ask you if you can give a message, some encouragement for a lot of children because in our show, we work, for example, with kids that are going sometimes through a lot of problems at school, especially in California. I would like you to give them a message to those kids. Well, um, what I would say is just um, keep going, whatever you're doing, if you love it, just don't give up. That's a good message. Never give up. Never, never. Well, thank you very much for this interview and I want to thank also God for the opportunity to be here today with God.